Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays Neo Scavenger. The fucking run, man. This has been the run of all time. At least for me, at the very least. Uh, if you've had better success, then, you know, congratulations to you. Obviously, you're a better player than I am. But for me, this has been fucking the pinnacle of the whole Let's Play series for Neo Scavenger so far. So, what did I do off camera? I sold off a lot of stuff. Um, I was a little bit short, unfortunately. A little bit short. So I had to sell a few other things, like my water and things like that. But... We were able to do what I wanted to do. I held on to my handgun this time around. I was planning to sell it. That would have, you know, put us easily over the mark. But I figured I'd hold on to it for now, just in case it doesn't take up too much space. You know, you never know when you might need a handgun. So either way, let's uh, ignore all that. Let's get our asses up to the augmentation area. And here we go. We have $6,115, 10 cents. So that's going to be more enough to get all this shit. So what do we want to do? Well, let's get the eye augmentation first and foremost. Oh man, 5600 That is a big money to give away, <laughs> let me tell you. Took me a while to fucking get all that stuff, too. Patient will be screened for agility, yada yada yada. The RA037Is are powered by nonlinear pyrolesic harvesters, such as they require no additional power supply for their operational lifetime, which is expected to exceed their host. Alright. So, um, order the eye replacement. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's check this out really quickly here. Player has received a transfusion of blood, player has received a full complement of nutrition and hydration, and player has just received eye implants. Alrighty, so after verifying there is no longer, uh, there is no danger of synthetic rejection, you are escorted to an operation room given fluid and nutrient IV insertions and placed under, or and placed under local anesthesia. The procedure is lengthy and extremely complex, requiring precise manipulation of tissue at a micro scale. Much of the work is done via a computer-aided telesurgery armature. When finished, there's a brilliant flash of geometry and patterns as the photoreceptors or the photoreceptors are activated. For several minutes, your vision passes in and out of focus, shifts colors, and goes black again as the devices are calibrated. You feel some anxiety as the lack of control. Finally, it stabilizes in a hyper-focused, almost unsettling crisp image, and your eyes are begin to usual movements you can see again. Let me tell you guys, I fucking need that sort of uh, eye replacement. My eyes are so fucking terrible, man. Like, I mean, I've been using glasses for like. I've been using my same pair of glasses for like the fucking last 10 years, I want to say, which obviously need an upgrade, and I feel that every single day I get more and more fucking blind. It's really ridiculous. Either way, though, confirm this. There's a wild aching and your eyes' movements feel weaker. What's more, as you walk to the room, steadied by a nurse, things seem to move differently around you. You're told it is a sensation that will pass in time. Your muscles will adjust to the slight differences in bounds, and the image will become less unsettling. After some resting and working with therapists, you feel able to move again normally. You've taken to collect your things, and you're get dressed. Excellent. Alrighty, so we've done part one. I feel like I'm going to be like Robocop or Terminator of the fucking post-apocalyptic world over here. So now that we've done that, oh yeah, night vision is indeed what we're looking after now. Uh, patients who have already received the human eye replacement can have their units replaced with the rose augmentation. Upgraded with the Rose Augmentation RA056 low light protoreceptors, which provide normal vision in low light conditions. <laughs> Do it! Boom! For the upgrade, you've led to a fitting room where you sit upright and a technician prepares the materials. He unlocks the glass display case and removes a small dust proof tray lined with foam inside or lined with foam inside the two metallic cylinders, which he removes and uh, prepares to install. The procedure is a bit uncomfortable as the technician has to handle your artificial eye to insert the upgrade. However, it's fairly quick, and the lack of pain receptors on the artificial eyes means the sensitivity in, is mainly limited to pressure in the eye socket. As he finishes the installation, he explains that it may feel unusual for a while. The upgrade is primarily a, thero, a thermal electric cooling device to reduce thermal noise. The interior of the eye will cool, but as a result, the exterior will become warmer. It won't cause any damage, but it takes some time getting used to. Alright, and now we have one more to do, which is going to be the telescopic upgrade. What this means is I'll be able to look far, I believe, and then I won't need to use the fucking um, telescopes anymore, which is good. So, let's get that one going. Uh, patients who ever received the human eye replacement can have their units upgraded. Yada yada yada. Let's confirm it. Oh, confirm it, I said. Uh, for the upgrade, you're led to a fitting room. Um, we've already read this. Uh, bu bu there you go. As the anesthetic wears off, you've led to an observation lounge and asked to focus on several distant objects in the Detroit skyline. It's surprisingly powerful zoom, even compared to, addition to traditional optics like binoculars. You're able to make out details at a great range, limited more by air density and haze than anything else. Satisfied, the procedure worked, the technician excuses themselves, and you gather your things. 
Oh my lord. All right, so we got everything from up here. And we only have $15 left, meaning we're fucking flat broke now, which is unfortunate, but you know, hey, that was bound to happen. Uh, luckily, we are relatively good with everything over here. I don't need to get any of these things. I do have a lot of pills. Um, I don't need to, you know, take care of my core temperature or any blood sort of situation. So we're good. And we're just ready to go then. So we're going to leave the health clinic. Alrighty, so we can go outside and kind of test it out. But before we do that, let's see about continuing our main quest, assuming it's even possible. Let's see here. Um, we want to go to the Detroit Savings Bank. Alright, so we've been here before. I think how it works is that... Hmm. How it works is if you go in there and you act... I've, I've been told this is how it works. You're supposed to go in there and act retarded and then they give you the information you need. But let's actually try using an electrician now that we have this other thing here. Uh, we've done this before. She begins talking to her now. Yeah, again, I don't know. Yada, yada, yada. You're outside. And I do believe now you just have to wait. Close. Wait a minute. Okay, cool. That this is new. This this new is this new? I think it's new. I don't think I've seen this before. Uh, the mope rider dismounts and it appears. So, sorry for the no talking there. I was trying to figure out what the hell went wrong and I had a brain fart too. So apologies. Uh, the mope rider dismounts and it appears to be a gangly woman in a dry blue gray windbreaker and slacks. She pulls a toolkit from the mope storage and meets the teller at the door. They both enter the teller taking her seat, and the technician begins reviewing something at her on her tablet. Watch the teller log in, watch the teller log in, and telescopic. Yeah, <laughs> let's use telescopic, it's the reason why I got it. Position yourself for optimal view and you await the teller's login. However, a shout startles you at out of your visual, the technician checklist goes on hold as she notices you're staring and starts speaking into her earpiece. The teller been the teller's been alerted to and is standing up. They're about to get pretty hot in here. Time to jet. What do you mean what? They notice me? Ah, oh, you... Bitch, you. Go back in there. Oh, fuck. You return to the side of the BS microbench, but suddenly, but stop suddenly when you notice it has a new feature. A private security guard! The DSB probably amped up security at their microbenches after you escaped. After you... After your escapades. Uh, looks like you'll need to find another way to locate the info you need. Are you... Fucking bullshitting me right now? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I, after I got the upgrade, they noticed me suddenly? I, I should be able to see miles ahead of time, or not time, but... Distances! I should have been like, you know, I could have hung out at the Red Gnome and seen her fucking log in. Alright. Alrighty, game. It's not gonna give it to me that easy, apparently. That's cool. Well. Well, what do we do from this point, then? Well, I guess we just fucking leave. That's alright, though. I'm just kind of interested in... Ho <laughs> ho Alrighty, I'm interested in just checking out our uh, upgrades anyway, so whatever. I'll right? oh, figure something out, if you even can figure something out. We'll see. Um, so all that done, we're out of turns. Uh, let me give you an idea as to what the hell we're carrying here, what we're not carrying. Oh, hey, this is the uh, power tab. It used to add more charges. So you know what? Let's try to act like civilized uh, adults here, like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's empty this out, or do I just use it? Use or empty out? Use to add more charges. Oh, okay, so you empty it out. And then you use it, add some more charges. Alright, so now the charges go into the batteries. Is that correct here? Electric charge. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's how definitely how it works. So then you go in here. Oh, baby, alrighty. So then you go inside, and you go inside, and now we're gonna have... A stern realization just came over me. I have night vision eyes now. I have telescopic eyes, I have night vision eyes, I have terminator eyes. Why do I even need this now? I don't! <laughs> so I apologize for... If you guys already picked it up, it's kind of like, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? You don't need that anymore. And you're right, I don't. Um, <laughs> okay, so never mind. Let me just go back to the junk market and let's just sell it off then. How about that? Um, at the very least, we're going to sell it off for $21. So, hey, remember when we had like $6,000? Well, we're down to 36 now, so, hey, money well spent, though, right? Well, do they have anything that I'm interested in, though, now that this is all happening for a reason? If I could quote John Locke here. Not particularly. Um, they'll give me $50 for these pills, and I think I'm going to do that just because I have a shit ton of pills. I don't think I'm going to ever need 
that many painkillers. And, you know, considering how I run into them like they're fucking candy. Might as well make a little bit of money just off of pills. That's really works out for me, honestly. Okay, so that's done with. We have $136. Is there anything I want to buy here? I kind of want to buy this meat, to be honest with you, just because uh, we have none. So, I'm not sure when I'm going to run into another fucking animal that can kill. So, indeed, let me buy this. By the way, we still have a strange mechanical doll here, and I don't know what to do with this thing in reality. Is there, like, a use option? No. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this. It's so weird. I wonder if it's just basically to store charges? Would this just be, like, you know, basically, because you can see you could equip charges into it, right? Does it work as just, like, a thing that take with you and it'll store charges for your items? Maybe. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not 100% sure on that. Just throwing it out there unless there's some sort of, uh, you know, reason for this that I'm not aware of, which is probably the case. Alrighty, so looking around over here, I also noticed this over here, which is kind of weird. It says cheap memory stick, but it costs $61 and it says bring. Like, it's obviously, like, you know, B-R-I-N-G. I'm not sure what this is for. Would this be for, like, a quest or something? I mean, bring it where? I'm not entirely sure, but you know what I am entirely sure of? Let me get a noise trap. It only costs, like, fucking a dollar anyway. Put that in there for more alertness. Um... Let's see here. Well, we have a lot of room with us now. Because, number one, we sold things, but number two, we don't have to necessarily think about filling up our inventory too much now that we've actually gotten to our main goal in terms of money. So... We have to kind of really think legibly here, or credibly here, and see what it is that we need, and now we can kind of be a little bit more experimental and things we could kind of buy. So, I mean, berries over here, the blueberries, the blackberries are always good. So I could buy them for two forty eight for a little bit of extra food. That wouldn't be such a bad idea, to be honest with you, along with maybe even... Why are you bought the meat, right? Yeah. So, you know what? I think that was a good idea. I, I wanted to buy this just because uh, it seems interesting. But I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I do have the hacking skill. Maybe we could run into a laptop now or, you know, something like that. And we could probably mess around with this to kind of give us our next goal for this run. Because now that we got the eye vision goggles, we are the upgrades. We need, like, a new goal, right? So maybe messing around with laptops would be the next thing I should do. So, you know, it pains me to do it. But I will indeed buy this, even though I'm not entirely sure what the fuck it's going to be used for. And I'll also buy the berries, so that's going to bring us back down to, like, what, $11? That's all right, though. I'll, I'll live with that. And that's it. That's all I need. Everything else that you can see here is what I sold off and whatever. So we're done here. Um, I could take some of this sterilized water back. You know what? I probably will. Cool. And we're down to $1.91. And you know what? If there was a big, uh, let's say a big Whopper around, I could buy myself a Whopper. If there was a Burger King around, I could go buy myself a Whopper, I guess, for 99 cents. Or maybe even almost two of them. Maybe I could just haggle with the lady and get two for 191. Who knows? Maybe I'll just act like I'm demented or something. Either way, um, I'm not even sure why I'm talking about Burger King. I haven't been there in forever. All right, so we have four or five turns left, and let's take a look at our map here really quickly. Our map's been filled up pretty good. So, I'm not the smartest man in the world. <laughs> Obviously. We could go and check this area out over here, or we could just go straight up north this time around. And I'm kind of, um, leaning towards just going straight up north, to be honest with you. I feel that might be the best bet for us. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go straight up north. So, first and foremost, let me switch over to the hardened spear stab all right that's good and you know we're a little bit tired we could probably use some sleep before we do anything too crazy but whatever fuck it let's just go straight up north and see what's about hatter doesn't want anything to do with us anymore right i'd love to see if um this motherfucker would <laughs> what is this scavenger with night vision this is pretty cool so here's the oh well there's gonna be nothing in here so never mind go go back go back i wanted to see if um what if we go into crafting no. Yeah, I guess Hatter's just done with us. I can't, I'm not sure what triggers Hatter again, or if anything does trigger Hatter again, if it's like a one-time thing. I mean, it just kind of leaves you kind of hanging, though, and it's just kind of like, oh yeah, come back, there might be some use for you later, or whatever, but... I don't know, man. I'm not entirely sure. So, fuck it, let's just go up here north. Uh, the other thing I mentioned, too, was that we could mess around with taking off our pendant and triggering the Mega Raid. However, we need a few DMC guards around so they could kind of deal with it for us, but... 
I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. Not until I'm really completely secure with what we want to do here. This guy's just got a pistol, huh? Meh. How you doing, man? Let's talk to him. What seems to be the problem? Um, ask about local gangs? Any work around here? Heard anything interesting? Let's ask about the local gangs. Any gangs that should be watching out for around here? The guards seem suddenly interested. Yeah, definitely. Could be some crooked sprawlers around, but gangs aren't unheard of around here either. He looks past you. Bad mothers are the worst of them. Damn cannibals, you ask me. We got some butcher boys, too. Looking back at you, you see, just, uh, you just keep close to town, though, and you're better off. A message for the radio calls him away. This guy was actually pretty nice. Most of these guys are fucking dickbags. At least this guy was giving me, like, information, which is, you know, pretty relatively new. Usually they're like kind of like, hey, keep your nose clean, fuck off. It's like, all right, man. I'm just hurt. I just wanted to, you know, probably get some water. I'm fucking dying over here. You're a DMC guard. Protect the community, man. Um, all right. So I guess we're gonna go straight up north. That's the only thing I could really come up with now. And at the very least, once we hit over here, we'll hit like, you know, uncharted terrain. What's gonna make, uh, I guess, checking out the north side a lot easier now is the fact that we have our upgrades, so we're not no longer limited to like, you know, walking like, you know, shitty amounts of, uh, hexes per turn because, you know, we'll be good. Obviously, there's gonna be some detractions to that, like, you know, being thirsty, being tired, being overburdened, etc, etc, but, you know, we are fully aware of that, so that's nothing new to us at the moment, so. I kinda wanna go over here and grab some water if we can, so I'm gonna jump into these woods. You know what? Are, do woods impede us now that we have the night vision? It does, but not as much as it used to, I think. Alrighty. So let me go in here really quickly. I want to take some wood now that we have the actual, you know, space for it. I wouldn't mind just carrying a few sticks of wood just so we can start fires whenever we need it and purify things a lot easier. So we'll take that with us right here and that too. It's not a big problem. Leave that behind and let's jump into this thing. And let's just really quickly go about crafting ourselves a little bit of a fire. Clear that out. And, uh, ba -ba, we're looking for this. Fern cleared out, and Fern cleared out. Let's leave ourselves enough turns to actually, you know, purify this in one turn, however. Do that. Do this. No more moves left to turn, or trap, that's alright. So, sterilize 525, that's not the one we want. We want 10. I said we want 10. We want 10. Not that one. This one is going to work out. And this one as well. And we have two left over. I, I really don't want to waste another turn here, so let me just take that one and we'll just take one of the unpurified ones and I guess purify it later whenever we do need to do that. Actually, you know what? That's a bad idea because I am... Oh, I'm not thirsty. I'm just tired. Never mind then. Yeah, we'll just continue onward then. End our turn right here. I'll we'll continue going straight up north and see what's up. Let's see, from 4 to 2, yeah, so definitely, I'm loving the upgrade already, man. Ah, oh, we haven't checked this out before, so we might as well go there. Again, we're gonna go back to our scavenging roots. Now that we have no necessary ultimate goal, like a set, you know, set piece of goal that I want to do, we could definitely be a little bit more adventurous now and kind of scavenging once again and see if we can find some good things along the way. Night vision, let's see, does this stack? It does, wow. Strong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a quite a fucking load of items that are quite a few uh, skills that I'm using in order to like you know check out new places. So that's pretty good. Uh, we'll take the lock picking tools. I don't think we need them because we have the crowbar, but you know whatever, it's there, it's available. Let's be a little bit adventurous, is what I'm saying out here. A cornicola T-shirt, that would be pretty fucking cool. I wonder how that looks. Eh, I can't be really asked to remove all my shit right now for that though. So one more turn left. Let's jump into this guy. End our turn here. I. Damn, that guy just fucking teleported or something. Who's this guy? Scavenge this really quickly. I might fight that guy just for the hell of it, just because I'm feeling really froggy right now that we're doing so amazing. Famous last words! He says that and then we fucking die. So that's 40 bucks. Let's take it with us. Again, we're still looking to make money, obviously. We're gonna need money for future endeavors, I gotta imagine. Uh, do you wanna fight this guy, though? I honestly kinda fucking do. What's up, man? Jump to him. Oh, he's a looter. He's gonna run away. Let's advance towards him. He's gonna run away. No, he's actually... Oh, he's asking for a ceasefire. Ah, sure. Okay. I'll be nice. I'll play nice. At least he's leaving away. So he's going away, which is good. You know what? If he's gonna be a looter, he's gonna run away after he offers a ceasefire, then I'll accept it. Because usually they like to hang around and be like a pain in your backside. 
But at least this guy's making the effort to get the fuck out of here, which is normally what they don't do. They just kind of run away, then you kind of linger around you and just waiting for you to drop shit. So at least he kind of took the honorable route out of the way here, which is, you know, just doing that. There's some shoes over here, $3, $24, uh, yeah, sure, we'll take that. 24 bucks isn't that too bad. And, alrighty. A little bit thirsty, getting thirsty really soon, but more importantly, ty uh, I, need, I could definitely use a sleep. So, if I go into the, oh, I could sleep here, good. So how about we actually sleep here and, you know, just have a full rested bar so we could kind of keep going without having to stop anytime soon. I think that would be pretty good for everybody involved, so let's toss this in here. Put this into our campsite. We'll probably wake up thirsty more than likely, but that's quite alright. At the very least, we are kind of relatively alert due to the extra noise trap I did buy. Let's just go in here. Let's actually just... Uh, oh, wait, wait. I need to do the, the happy blue pill. There you go. Go into camp and go ahead and take a sleep, man. Hopefully that looter doesn't come back and, like, you know, steal my shit. Then I'll be like, oh, god damn it, I should have killed him. Why didn't you do it, Falcon? I was being nice. Nice as in cut it into wasteland. Alright, so put this away over there. Put this back inside. Alrighty, so overall pretty good. I'm getting a little bit thirsty, obviously, but not too big of a concern. We'll just pop, uh, shitty water. And hopefully it doesn't, you know, infect me. <laughs> that would be the last thing I need right now. So that's good. Let's take a look at our map here. Alright, so we're still heading straight up north, which is good. Alright. So how about, let's call it an episode here, guys. What I want to do is, uh, I'm going to probably take a look at a... You know, guide. I don't really do that for Neil Scavenger, but I want to look at a guide about the Strange Forest because if there's something that we could do there, I want to do it. And um, so I'll take a look at it if there's anything crazy to do right there. And also, yeah, I want to find out if there's any sort of a use for this fucking mechanical doll. So I'm going to look at a guide, something I really don't like doing because I love just learning on my own. But this right here, Strange Mechanical Doll is the right name because it is fucking strange. I have no idea what to do with it. So... I'll look this up and I'll look up the strange forest and um, obviously both of the things I'm going to look up happen to be strange. So as you can understand why I'm going to probably look that up. Either way guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.